Ah, other training pitfalls. Avoid training on data from the future. You'd think, you'd think. For example, you're trying to predict tomorrow's stock price and you use tomorrow's interest rate to predict tomorrow's stock price. If you're going to do that, just use tomorrow's stock price to predict tomorrow's stock price. It's cleaner. So how does this sort of thing happen? Well, you tend to treat your labels with some respect. And you put them separately and carefully into your algorithms. But sometimes you don't treat the features with very much respect. And so you take the whole pile of features that you have access to, you put them into the algorithm, and, and because you haven't gone and dug into how that algorithm works, you don't know what it's doing with them, you've given it access to stuff that it might use, if convenient. Because if you have a year's worth of data, then you have given it access on January 4 to January 5th's interest rates. And if those help to predict January 5th's stock price, especially if the algorithm is allowed to do such stuff and has the flexibility to do it, it may just help itself to that for your solution. So you'll want to make sure, if you don't want to go dig into how these algorithms work, that you find a way to lock it out of attempting to use stuff that you just cannot have in production. Because on the day that you want to use this thing, you don't actually have tomorrow's in interest rate. And that's part of a more general principle. Please think about what you are submitting, uh, what you are allowing the system to train on. Don't allow things that cannot be used or processed in production into your solution. So run a little check on the solution and see if there's anything dodgy there. A classic example here is one where you need to serve your user things quickly because your user is not patient, isn't going to wait around five minutes for your algorithm to churn and output something. And you've used offline data that you have saved, you had in an attic somewhere to build the prototype. And you made a feature, which is an awesome feature. But in order to compute the values of that feature, it takes an awful long time. But don't worry, because this was a big data set you saved, you just put a week up front computing that feature. And now you've got that column, fantastic. And then you do all kinds of learning involving that column, and it works, and it keeps working, and it's great. But now, because the recipe requires that thing on the fly, you're going to have to compute it, and that takes too long, and then your user wanders off. Resist temptation. Just don't use it if you cannot actually use it at the time that this thing has to operate. Or work with your engineering team to make that computation faster. 